So I'm in Kunken right now and in today's video I want to talk about Kunken as a retirement destination for those who want to retire over here. So first thing first, Kunken is a big city. It's not like a small town which many people would prefer to retire in. But for those who want to live in a city because there are like movie theaters, there are bars, there are clubs, uh, there are like big shopping centers and there are big hospitals and other facilities. So retirement does depend from people to people. So keep in mind, Kunken is the fourth biggest city of Thailand. So because of that, it's going to have a lot of people living in and it's going to have a lot of traffic and that's my first point about retiring retiring in Kunkin, which is traffic the traffic is kind of uh, you can say it's it's it, it's kind of too much traffic over here which is normal in many thai cities but as a retiree uh, going out of the house and facing the traffic most of the times it's it's not fun uh, if somebody just uh, wants to live in peace so yes that's my first point about Kunkin. the city does have a lot of traffic now continuing on let's move to the second point so if you look over there those are some of the condo buildings so you get options like you get options of renting cheap condos like you get in other cities in thailand and you get options to rent luxury condos as well so depending on your budget you can choose what kind of a condo or a house you want to live in so yes there are going to be townhouses as well in the city so you can get you can get luxury condos over here which is good for many people so yes you do get options when it comes to housing over here Now, not now talking about the things to do if the city is boring or not uh, this city does not look boring uh, there are uh, there are many things to do over here there are a lot of temples i know many people won't be going to the temples every day but there are a lot of parks i'm at one of those parks and there are other big parks here as well and yes there are many uh, like food outlets like mcdonald's uh, many stores there are kfc's there are movie theaters and all so yes there are things to do over here uh, compared to like a small towns where sometimes it can be boring because there are not many places to go to not many things to do so when it comes to that uh, the city is good uh, if somebody does want to do many things want to visit different different places uh, there are many things to do over here uh, in this place and around Kunkain as well so Yes, you won't be getting bored. Just look at this park I'm walking in. It's beautiful and the track, it's good. So I was, uh, I, I was, I was just coming by and there was a foreigner who was jogging this time. So yes, I can say it's a good place to jog around. But anyway, let's continue with the video and let's talk about more points. Now talking about the cost of living, the cost of living is going to be same like other Isan cities. I saw the prices of the clothes, I saw the prices of the food. It was almost like Korat, so there was no difference in that. So when it comes to cost of living, you can rest assured uh, that cost of living in Isan is cheaper compared to Bangkok and uh, Southern Thailand and Pattaya as well. So if you live in Isan, uh, the cost of living is usually 20 to 30 percent lower than Bangkok and other like some other famous cities in the south. Now talking about hospitals and medical care, I saw a lot of like beauty clinics while I was driving. There were a few massage parlors as well. Not too many like you get in Bangkok and Pattaya. Even in Korat, we don't get too many massage parlors. Uh, so it's the same over here, but yes, they are here and when it comes to like uh, uh, Dental I saw some dental clinics as well uh, And yes, there are private hospitals and big government ones as well So when it comes to medical facilities being being the fourth biggest city uh, Kunkin does have uh, medical facilities that a person need 
so when it comes to medical i believe most of the people are going to be covered so they don't have to like worry too much about um, when it comes to like medical facilities so being a retiree many people won't care too much about nightlife scene uh, but if somebody do care about it yes there is a little bit of nightlife here as well uh, i won't say too little because there are many bars over here uh, <laughs> so a person has to travel and find it out like which bar they feel comfortable at because the thing is that bar is like a personal choice for people some people will not like the most famous bar in the city some people will uh, like it so these kind of things are too subjective uh, but yes there are too many of them and if somebody is going to live over here for a long time they are going to find their taste and they are going to be able to find the place that suits them and anyway there is club as well there is tavangdang tavangdang uh, there is tavangdang in buriram there is tavangdang here we used to have Tawan, uh, Tawandang in uh, Korat, but it's closed now. So yes, they have Tawandang over here in Khunkin when it comes to club. Okay, now talking about the weather, the weather of the city is similar to most of the Sun cities. Uh, it's hot, uh, but when it's winter, uh, the temperature goes down. And when I was uh, coming here from Korat uh, and when while I was here already, Many people do said that people like girls over here are beautiful. Uh, so I asked why you why you say that. So people were like, oh, the girls over here are white, <laughs> and Thai people do like uh, white skin, which is common uh, knowledge, I believe. So anyway, so while I was coming here, people were like, uh, the girls in Konkan are beautiful because they are white. So I guess it's kind of like that. Uh, so I believe it's because of the winters because this place do get winter uh, like uh, during the winters temperature can be cold so when it comes to temperature uh, during the summers it's going to be hot like most of the Thailand but when it's winters yeah, like December January and Feb it's going to be a little bit colder uh, like it's going to have cold weather now, now when it comes to food, there is a lot of Western food. There is fast food as well. Uh, I believe most people won't like fast food too much. Uh, so yes, you can find some restaurants serving Western food over here easily. And you can also find uh, Japanese, Korean and Indian food over here. There, there are big Indian restaurants over here. Uh, one is too beautiful. I just saw the pictures on the Google, Google Maps and I, I was like, wow. Uh, the restaurant looks good so yes uh, there are options when it comes to food as well for somebody who likes to try different different food there 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 are options so there is no problem in that because this is a big city now talking about the connectivity so this city does have an airport so uh, there is Kunkin airport but uh, the city is also connected to the railways and bus buses with Udon Thani and uh, uh, Khorat so somebody who wish to go to Bangkok they have to go to Khorat because like Khorat is the gateway of Isan uh, but yes the city is connected to Udon Thani, Nong Khai and over here there is Mahasarakham, Klasin uh, the city is connected to Chiapum as well so yes the city is well connected and has a railway facility and good bus services and there is an airport as well for those who who wants to use uh, like like air, like plane to come over here okay so now talking about the overall vibe of the city so the overall vibe of the city is good the city feels good uh, the city does uh, feel like it has uh, a charm to it uh, it looks beautiful uh, the streets are covered with trees uh, the streets uh, are wide uh, it looks beautiful so yes there is certainly some charm to the city it looks beautiful there are a lot of parks small parks uh, monuments uh, small small temples uh, spread across the city which gives the city a beautiful vibe and just look at it i am i'm on a mound over here <laughs> 
So anyway, yes, uh, the point is the city does have a good good vibe. It does not feel like it's uh, a poor city. I I hope you understand what I mean by that. Uh, so yes, the city looks modern. There are modern buildings here as well. So do come to the city to check it out if you are planning to retire over here or around over here, uh, around Konkin in the Konkin province. Uh, do come and check it out yourself. But I hope this video would be helpful to you to understand uh, if the city is good enough place for you to retire or not. Anyway guys, I will end this video over here, but I hope that you will find this video informative. If you were looking for information about Kunkin and how the city really is like. So I will end this video over here, but I will see you, see you in another video. Um, uh, have a good day ahead. I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.